Hello friends, welcome to Ashok IT. This is Shekhar and today we are going to discuss about a Java concept called Stream API which is introduced in Java 8 version. And first before we enter into the coding part, we would like to know what is the difference between collection and a stream. Actually collection is used to store the data and can be used to manage the data. And before Java 8, we have used the loops to process the elements of the collection object. But from Java 8 version, we have got stream API and with the help of stream operations, we can able to perform computations on the elements of the collection with less amount of code without writing more loops to process the data. So stream will allow us to perform operations on the data stored in collection easily with the predefined methods. And when you perform any operation on stream, it doesn't modify the source object. Instead, it is going to return us a new object with modified data. In this way, we are also going to get immutability on the source object. So let's get started to understand about some of the important operations that we can perform on stream API by creating a stream object. Basically, we can create a stream object and collection object or if you have some raw values, so you can also perform operations on the raw data by creating a stream object. Or suppose you have an array, you can also create a stream object on the array data. So in stream, basically there are two types of operations are available. One is intermediate operation and the other one is a terminal operation. Intermediate operation, which means the operation can result another stream. It will perform operation on the elements that are available in the source stream and returns as a result which contains again a stream of destination elements. Whereas terminal operation will directly provide us the end result. So it's not going to produce another stream. Instead, it is going to produce a directly the required output. There are two types of operations like this. So let's try some important operations on streams by taking an example. You can consider that we have a Java project in which we have the employee class and we also have one more class called employee util. First, let me show you what is there in employee. It is a traditional employee class in which we have some attributes for, of an employee, the fields, employee fields with the required constructor with all arguments to initialize the object and also the required getters and setters and also to print the object in a string. So we are overriding the two string method also in this class. Next, we also created one more class called employee util. And this util class is to create a static method to prepare the data. So here I have a method called get employees method. And this method is going to return me a list of employees. And this method we have created only to prepare the data. So we have created one array list object and in this array list object, we have added some employees and finally this method is going to return employees. So now here we want to start some of the filter, some of the operations on the stream API. Consider we want to create one new class and this class consider it as employee service. And in this class, now we want to discuss about how we can able to implement filtration on the stream elements. There is a method available called filter and this filter method basically filters the elements of a stream based on the given predicate, based on the given predicate which is nothing but a condition. Now let's see how we can able to implement filter operation of stream on our list of employees. So we are going to create one method here. Consider I'm creating a method called public list of employee is a written type and the method is get female employees. So here we are going to create a method here which is going to return me only female employees from the list of employees. 
actually my list has all the employees first i am going to get the list i am not creating the list again i have already one class called employee util which has a method called get employees so let's call that static method employee util dot get employees which returns as a list of employees now on this list of employees now we would like to perform filter operation on that so what we want to do first we would like to create a stream on this list of employees then we want to apply the filter operation on that stream of elements and we would like to filter only the female employees and we want to return the result the list of only the female employees so see how it can be done so first after creating after getting the list of employees now return first create a stream on this collection object by calling the stream method so employees dot stream which creates a stream on employees now we got a stream object on that stream we want to apply the filter operation the filter operation is going to filter the elements of the stream and returns another stream which contains filtered elements so now i want to filter only the female employees of the stream so now i am writing one lambda expression to do that then e arrow token e dot get gender equals or i can call equals ignore case compare with other string called female then this is going to compare whether the gender of an employee is equal to female or not this filter is going to take one by one element from the source stream and will apply this filter condition the condition is check whether the gender of the employee is a female or not if it is a female then the result will be stored into new stream so now after filter we got a new stream of employees now to convert that into to gather the elements of the stream into a list again we can call either collect method or we can call to list method which is directly available with us so i am calling to list method now how to test this method whether it is returning list of only the female employees or not so we will create one main method and we are creating the service employee service class object here so once object is created now we want to call the method which can return only the female employees so return type is a list so i need a list to store the result consider lst is a list variable so employee service dot get female employees now i can display the each employee by using for each method which is available in list so lst dot for each now this is system dot out colon colon println and this is by using method reference operator we want to display the each element of the list now let us run this code and check are we going to get only the list of the female employees so now our code is executed and you can see the result says only the female employees we got over here actually the originally we have a list of employees which contains male employees and female employees also but with the stream with the filter operation we are only filtering the female employees of the list so this is how a filter operation can be implemented using stream now we also want to now check other important operation on the stream and that is called map operation now what this map operation can do this map operation so now we are going to discuss about map operation on stream api so what map operation will do map will apply the given mapping functionality on each and every element of the input stream that is the source stream and will return us a new stream which is containing the result of the applying the mapping functionality and then we can convert that into a list and we can get the elements from the list see how we can able to implement this map operation with our source code look at this so map maps the given functionality applies the given function on each element of the stream i 
returns a new stream of elements. Okay, let's see how we are going to implement map. Consider we want to retrieve only the names of employees. We have employees, a list of employees. Each employee has various fields, but our requirement is we only want to retrieve the names of the employees. Let's see how it can be, how this operation can be implemented by using map method of the stream API. So let's start working on this. See, we have something called as, we are creating a method called public. It's a list of string get employee names. Now here, <coughs> first we should get the list. So we have employee util dot get employees method and this can able to return me the list of employees. Once I got the employees, now the next what I would like to do now, I would like to simply apply the mapping functionality. Return employees dot stream then dot map and this is basically used to perform the mapping functionality. So on each element it applies the given function of the source stream and returns a new stream with the result of the mapping functionality. So let's write the lambda expression e arrow token e dot get e name which returns the name of the employee. Now we called stream and this is going to create a source stream object. Then we called map operation on the stream API. So this map will return on each element it will apply the given function. This function is going to return as name of the employee returns a new stream of all the employees. Now to convert them into a list then you should call the to list method. Now we can test whether we are going to get all the employees names or not. So how can I do that? I will go back to the main and here I am going to write the code. So let us keep this code in common. This is to test the filter functionality but now we want to test the mapping functionality. So how can you do that? Let us call list of employee. It is list of string. Let us say employee names is equal to employee service dot get employee names. Now I got all the employees names into a list. Now I would like to just display all the employees names by calling for each method. Employee names dot for each. By using method reference operator we can display the all the elements that are available in the list by calling for each method. As we know method reference operator is the shortcut the, the, it is a shortcut way to make the lambda expression more concise, more shorter and more readable. So now let us try to run this code and check are we going to get only the employees names through this mapping functionality or not. So here is our code. Now we can see the output. We have a list of employees but the result is only the list with all the employees names. So this is how the mapping functionality can be implemented by using Stream API.